one-year-old Max lives, works and plays with his uncle Bo and great-granddad Neo and their handlers Andy and Matuna. Hey Max. Come on. Oh, Where'd you go? They have a big day of work ahead of them, but first it's time for a run around and a play on the beach. This is Max. Max is a German shorthead pointer. He isn't too headstrong, which means that he's trainable, and that's a really good characteristic for a conservation dog. So his favourite hobbies are running around on the beach uh, with either a stick, a mandarin or a walnut. You want that one? Ooh, away you go. So when he's not doing that, he's working really, really hard to become a fully certified FIO detection dog. The FIO, also known as the blue duck, is native to Aotearoa, far rarer than kiwi. There are fewer than 3,000 left. The FIO is one of only four duck species in the world that lives in fast-flowing water. It is known as the icon of the waterways, and its shrill whistling call is synonymous with the New Zealand backcountry. Ready? Max and Bo are working amongst wildlife today, so they have to have on their hivers vests and their muzzles. Even though conservation dogs and their handlers go through extensive training and assessment to become certified, conservation dogs always wear muzzles when working in the presence of protected species. Unlike Bo here, Max is still in training to become a fully certified FIO detection dog, so we'll be working him with a long lead today. On their way to find Fiel, Andrew has another task to do as well. This is a uh, DOC 200 trap and it's specifically designed for catching stoats. And I'm just going to restock it with some bait. This trap is being put here as part of our Fiel Forever program. So we're going to have 140 of these traps set in the valley floor here to protect our Fiel. We lose as many as 91% of our Fiel nest in areas that aren't trapped. Time for Bo and Max to begin tracking Fiel. I'm constantly watching Max as he works in the river, looking for any sign or any um, body language cues that he's detecting fuel in the area. It's also really good that his uncle Bo is here because Max is also learning from him and it also gives him confidence while he's on the river. The dogs selected for fuel searching in rivers are usually larger breeds that are able to better withstand the cold and wet conditions. The handler encourages the dog's confidence to work in the river through trust and is constantly vigilant of dangerous conditions such as rapids or waterfalls. When Bo finds a feel, he will stop and point, remaining as still as a statue, indicating to the handler that a bird is close. So what we're going to do is, because Bo indicated the scent up here, we're going to do a search downstream underneath some of this vegetation where they might be roosting, and hopefully we can find some feel. Where you go. So the ducks like to roost under vegetation to hide away from their avian predators. And these root mats like this, these log jams, they especially like those because it gives them an area that they can um, not be seen by the likes of the falcon or the harrier hawks that will fly in and around our river systems. Good boy, way go. And this to me is what it's all about, watching these dogs work. They're so beautiful and keen. The natural inherent instincts are just coming out in them as they work along the riverbed. Good boy, Bo. Stay. Stay. So Bo has just indicated our pair of fear down here that we had found a scent for earlier on up the river here. We're going to go down and see if we can get a little bit closer to them. Stay, Bo. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy, eh? Hey? Fear are an indicator of the river health and the uh, completeness of a river system. So where you find FIO, you'll find a healthy waterway. What we'll do is we'll GPS that uh, waypoint and we'll come back and we'll monitor that through the breeding season to see how many ducklings they produce as a result of our trapping. Good boy, Bo. Good boy. I love my job. Um, it's working in these beautiful natural environments, working with my best friend here, Bo and I've spent uh, a lifetime, a career, in studying FIO and preserving this icon of our river is hugely rewarding for me. It's also super rewarding working alongside this young fella, Max, here, seeing him develop from a young pup into a fully, hopefully a fully certified FIO detection dog. Ah, 
Hey, that's a good day out, wasn't it?